hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you yet another vision language model called as aquila vision language 2 billion it is a vlm trained based on lava 1 vision framework the coin 2.5 1.5 billion instruct model has been chosen as a large language model for this and the siglip so 400 million is utilized as vision tower this model was trained on their self-built Infinity MM dataset, which contains approximately 40 million image text pairs. This dataset is a combination of open source data collected from the internet and synthetic instruction data generated using open source VLM models. They have also open sourced Infinity MM dataset and related resources, and the license is quite liberal and generous, which is Apache 2. So we will be installing this model locally and then we will see how it works. Before I do that, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs so do check them out. Let me take you to my terminal where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU courtesy Mast Compute NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me create a virtual environment with Conda. Not this one, sorry. My copy paste in this uh, really, really having issue. So let me check this out. This is a virtual environment where I'm just accessing it through thin link. Anyway, so you see that my virtual environment is being created now and now let's install some of the prerequisites which include torch audio torch vision and also the coin vision language utilities which are very standard for coin based models and this is going to take four to five minutes so let's wait all the prerequisites are done let's now launch our jupyter notebook so that we could download and play with this model in the browser environment. So the browser environment is launched. Next up, let's import the libraries which we have installed and also the model. And you can see that there is only one shard for this model, which is just over 4 gig. So, so the size is quite good, which is amazing really. Okay, let's wait for it to finish downloading. And the model is downloaded and you can ignore this information this is just telling you about the weights and stuff next up let's do the inference and the inference code is same as we have in the coin one but for that we are just taking the processor for this and we are giving it this image and asking it describe this image and the image is uh, it looks like something this and in the usual way we are just passing all the um, text and the image to the tokenizer to tokenize it and then model is generating the image and uh, generating the <coughs> output after of course checking out the image and then returning us the response back which we are printing out so let me run it and there you go you can see the response of the image which is perfectly fine it is saying that the image depicts a serene beach scene with a woman and a dog the woman is, a, is sitting on the sand wearing a plaid shirt so it can even detect the shirt and black pants and appears to be smiling very nice so it can recognize the human expression she is holding the dog's paw in in a high five gesture which is correct the dog which is a large breed is wearing a harness and is sitting on the sand with its front paws raised the background shows the ocean with gentle waves and the sky is clear with a soft glow suggesting either sunrise or sunset the overall atmosphere is peaceful and joyful so very very impressive and high quality response next up i am testing this model for the ocr and you can see that it has done a wonderfully accurate ocr it has uh, detected all the alphanumeric characters english and also the german french mix of languages and then it has also even given us the omlauts on top of these characters such as this rapido and all that stuff so looks quite good when it comes to ocr and that is that was a case with 
द क्वेंट टू पॉइंट फाइव विजन लैंग्वेज मॉडल टू सो अगेन आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग अ लोकल इमेज लाइक दिस फ्रॉम पिलो एंड आई एम आस्किंग इन दिस इमेज वट इज दिस लोकेशन एंड वट इज इन द इमेज सो लेट मी रन इट एंड देर यू गो सो द मॉडल से इमेज डिपेक्ट द स्नो स्ट्रीट सीन इन अ सिटी लाइकली इन जपैन गिवन द साइनेज एंड आर्किटेक्चर एंड दैट इज वट आई वॉन्टेड टू नो द स्ट्रीट इज लाइन विद शॉप्स एंड रेस्टोरेंट एंड देर आर पीपल वॉकिंग ऑन द साइड वॉक द बिल्डिंग्स आर मॉडर्न विद लार्ज विंडोज एंड इल्यूमिनेटेड साइंस द स्नो कवर्ड ग्राउंड एंड द प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ डिस्टेंस सजेस्ट दैट इट इज अ कोल्ड डे पॉसिबली ड्यूरिंग द विंटर सीजन वेरी नाइस इन द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल आई एम आस्किंग इट वट स्पीशीज आर डिपिक्टेड इन दिस इमेज एंड लेट्स यू वट इट सेज इफ आई गो डाउन इट सेज द इमेज डिपिक्ट अ फूड वेब वेरी नाइस विच इज अ डायग्राम दैट शोज अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन डिफरेंट स्पीशीज इन एन इको सिस्टम द स्पीशीज डिपिक्टेड इन द इमेज आर ड्रैगन फ्लाई फ्रॉग स्नैक माउस रेबिट लेडी बर्ड सो इफ यू गो देयर इट हैज गिवन अस लॉट ऑफ गुड स्टफ इट इज रिपीटिंग बिट ऑफ दम बट आई थिंक ऑल इन ऑल अ रियल गुड एफर्ट बिकॉज इट्स नॉट एन ईजी इमेज टू डील विद इट हैज मिस्ड बिट ऑफ दम बट आई थिंक ऑल इन ऑल आई एम प्रिटी सेटिसफाइड एंड द रीजन वाई इट हैज यू नो जस्ट बिकॉज इट हैज डिटेक्टेड इट्स अ फूड वेब दैट्स रियली अमेजिंग Okay, in the next example, I am asking it which country is this in the image, and how can I get there from London? So let me run it to see. And the response is spot on. The image depicts Australian outback, specifically the Simpson Desert in the Northern Territory of Australia. Spot on. The Simpson Desert is known for its vast red sand dunes and sparse vegetation, which are characteristics of the desert environment. to get to the simpson desert from london you can follow this step air travel you can fly to darwin the capital of nt from london darwin is the largest city so very correct and from darwin you can take a train to alice spring which is the largest city in the northern territory so it has repeated the largest city here now there are few mistakes which i can see but especially in terms of language what i think the vision ib- abilities are quite good and but you can't trust this itinerary i don't think that is that correct but other than that it has identified the location correctly which is simpson desert in australia really good stuff so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think before i let you go let me thank uh, the sponsors of this video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content agent ql works on any page it is resilient it is reusable and it structures the output according to the shape of your query thanks for watching and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching